Aaron, this fire grew another 2,000 acres overnight. I'm standing in some of the destruction. This property along Empire Grade across the street from Summit Road, completely destroyed. Cal Fire has been able to confirm 50 structures destroyed, but they estimate that number is in the triple digits. Smoke covered the redwoods as I drove up Felton Empire Road with hard closures down Ice Cream Grade, where this house sits untouched. A rooster crowing as spot fires crackled near a shed. Down Empire Grade, small fire crews battled more flames approaching homes. But for dozens of families, the damage was done. Houses wiped out and cars melted, like this one on the 10,000 block of Empire Grade, this same area fire crossed the road. Got two neighbors touching the property. Their places are already burned and it's really sad. And I, we cried when we got here. John Kamerling's house is still standing on Vic Drive. He worked his way back home this morning to water down his property and grab some more belongings. But Cal Fire says if you've evacuated, stay out. Stay and we had last night three separate rescues that pulled our vital, very few resources away to have to rescue those individuals uh, because they put themselves in peril. A tree blocks the charred intersection of Jamison Creek and Empire Grade, and the Crest Ranch Christmas tree farm up the road burned. Only a thousand firefighters are roaming the 50,000 acre fire complex. A break of low humidity today has brought the best firefighting conditions of the week, but it's not expected to last. We are going to see some weather conditions coming back that are not in our favor, but we are doing everything we can to take advantage of that, that window of opportunity. What's going through your mind right now? Uh, get the hell out of here. And the sheriff's office says be prepared for these evacuations to last a couple weeks. Reporting in the Santa Cruz Mountains, Drew Andre, KIOA News, Channel 546.